kind of a different year here, but um, we're starting the Big 12 championship this week. Can you just kind of give us a general um, kind of overview of what you're looking for out of the team this year? Sure, you know, and, and you're right. It's been uh, absolutely a different year because uh, starting tomorrow, our divers should have already competed and been done. And uh, of course, due to the weather last week here in Austin and the rest of the state of Texas, we ended up moving the diving to next week. So really the kids have just, you know, it's, uh, they've been so resilient and, um, you know, they've kind of handled every challenge as it's come. And um, our season was, you know, obviously very short, a couple of dual meets in January. And now we're here, we're at, at big 12. So, you know, I think, you know, what we've just been talking about all season, it's just a blessing to be able to get out and compete, have fun um, and enjoy the week and, and see what we can put together. And hopefully we can, uh, um, have a really good uh, good time and, and, and good results as we go through the week. Kind of talking on what you mentioned there at the beginning, um, the changes from the weather and the changes that COVID have brought this year. It's kind of an unusual year. Um, how do you think that this uh, the, the COVID changes from the split prelims to diving right. being separated, do you think that'll impact the team at all? Well, uh, yeah, certainly ideally what you want is to be able to compete you know, completely as a, as a team. And, and we're not going to be able to do that this week. And, and, you know, we're not going to have any spectators in the, in the stand. So it's going to be completely different. Um, you know, uh, we have seniors that aren't going to, you know, they're going to be able to complete their season, but they're not going to be able to share it with their families. And, and so all of that is going to be affected. That's going to affect them uh, throughout the championships, but we're far enough into this pandemic that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, that they're very resilient. So um, having the, sprint, uh, the split prelims for us um, is a little bit of a challenge, but it will also give us the opportunity to really have just our focus on the women's prelims, on the men's prelims, and then we'll be able to come together for finals and, and compete that way. So, um, you know, I think, it, you know, uh, other schools have had separate uh, gender sessions um, we did not do that with uh, Notre Dame, but we did do it with Pitt. So we have an idea of what it's like, and, and we'll just get in there and step up and do what we can. Now, on top of, you mentioned not having fans and that um, the split prelims, obviously it'll be a little different for finals because finals are really when everyone kind of gets into it, but not having the full team on deck and not having um, the fans in the stands, can, will do um, you think that'll really make make a difference or – um, you know, yes and no. I mean, our fans in the stands are going to be our team. Um, you know, that's why there are no fans. The teams are up in the spectator seating area um, and doing the social distancing thing up there. And, and so um, we'll probably not have as many, you know, fans as you would if your parents were there. And then, of course, not have, having the teams on the deck and being right up to the action will have an impact. But again, you know, we've had a couple meets under our belt, so like, I don't think it's going to be that big of a difference for them. Um, I, you know, and, and we just, you know, we just do what we we know we're capable of doing, and that step up and swim and race. And, um, you know, again, having the competition to compete against other people uh, is a, a real treat and blessing, and, and we just want to take advantage of that. Yeah, um, speaking on not of on being able to compete against other people with only two um, regular season meets this year, how important is this week for the team to um, really kind of achieve their goals, prove something, things like that? Well, sure. I think anytime your 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 opportunities to perform or compete are limited, and in our case, to three three events. Um, is basically our season when you normally have 14 or 15 dual meet or competition dates over a season. Um, but we're really just not looking at it that way. I mean, we, we want to, we want, the team is feeling really good. And um, we got to swim outside yesterday in the Eddie Reese pool and we had a blast with that. And, um, and I think, you know, again, we're just kind of taking the approach that um, we're fortunate to be in this situation. We're able to, to uh, represent WVU and WVU athletics at the Big 12 Conference Championship. Obviously, we want to do very well and, and 
and that's our goal. And I think we can accomplish that. Um, but we, we, we did some stuff in the fall to prepare them and, and they've been training and racing well throughout the whole season. We just have only had a couple dual meets. So um, I think, you know, I think overall we'll have a, a, an excellent opportunity for a good week. Looking ahead to um, Saturday or even next week when um, diving finishes, really when you guys are finished this weekend, there's still a little bit left, but when you look back on the week, um, uh, in this weekend on Saturday, what do you want uh, to accomplish this, this week? Well, obviously I think you want the kids to, to feel good about their season, feel good about their races and what they were able to accomplish. And then from the team, team standpoint, you know, I think we just want to do everything we can to compete at, uh, as best we can inside the conference. Um, and, and when it, for me specifically, when we get done with the week, um, I hope everybody's had a successful week that we've competed as a team successfully. Uh, we've kept everybody healthy. Um, obviously, we're not in our bubble uh, in Morgantown, and uh, we have five other teams around us now and, and other individuals. So that becomes a little bit of an important part. But just have a, a, a good, fun week. Come together. We're, we're young. Um, it's exciting to see what our freshmen can do this week. And uh, and just, you know, overall have a, a successful feeling when we get done.